Okay, we got a major storm outside. It's raining cats and dogs. And this tree was toppled over. So I stood it upright and I pulled off this fig. Thank God it didn't come off, but I didn't want it to spoil from all the rain. And so we're gonna weigh it, cut it open and taste it. Historically, this tree has produced the most amazing tasting figs. The only problem with it is it's a little bit late, but man, if you get to try these figs out, they're definitely worth the wait. 26.4 grams, not a bad size at all. Let's cut it open, give me one second. And there it is. And look at that. That is what it's all about. It's like jewelry in here. And this fig not only looks good, not only is a decent weight, it's not too small like those tiny little figs, but it's not too big where you know, some of these big figs, they don't have as much taste. It's kind of the right size and it's delicious. It tastes like a fig should taste. The only problem with it, it takes a little bit to ripen. Mind you, not as long as say Black Madeira or some of the other varieties, but I'm actually a little surprised. It's a little bit early this year. Let's try it out. Oh my God. This fig tastes how a fig should taste. I don't know how to describe it better than that. You get real fig flavor. You know, like everybody's in love with all these figs because of the grape flavor. Well, this fig is giving that figgy flavor. Let me get the wife to try it out. Come try this sucret. Sucret. Mm -hmm. mm. Try it. Oh my god. That's amazing. Mm. That's delicious. There you have it. I just wanted to say that there are two varieties of sucret circulating out there. And I believe this one is called sucret bod.